Hi guys, happy Thursday, TGIT. I hate saying that, and I say it every week. I don't know why I do it. I don't know why I do it. It's a compulsion. Anyway, how are you? Um, say hi when you get on. I know, I'm running late. One of these days we'll get back on time. Um, hi, how are you? Let's go ahead and do our, let's pull up our comments. Um, say hi when you come on. Let me know how you're doing. Where are we? There we are, yay! There we are. Ah. All right. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Mallory. Hi, Yara. Hi, Linda. Linda. Hi, Becky. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Seabear. I'm doing well, thanks. How are you? We're going to do some rainbow food today because it's St. Patrick's Day almost, so we're going to do that. Let me just real quick get our shares in and let Kelly know we're on. I know we're running late. One of these days we'll get on on time. Jesse is tired. Just drove from Michigan to Pennsylvania. That's a trek, girl. That is a trek. I'm doing all right. I'm tired, too. I've been battling with insomnia, which is super fun. Let's see. Kelly. Oh, no. Um, let's find our video, or as my son would say, the video. Where's the video, Mom? Hi, Janice. Thank you. I just pulled it back. I had it up, and I looked in the camera, and it was bugging me, so hopefully it looks, oh, I don't know, too lumpy. Anyway, hi, Cindy. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tammy. Excuse me. Crystal Watkins shared my video. Say thank you. Thank you, Crystal. Hey, Vanessa. Vanessa from Nessa Bakes is here. Hi, Sandy. Sandy had the best coconut shrimp. Girl, if you like coconut shrimp, I have a killer coconut shrimp recipe on my website. Type, go to Google and type coconut sh baked coconut shrimp. Mama loves food. You will not regret it. Yeah, I haven't done the text yet. I'm waiting till I, um, I always do the shares first and then the text. So... Kelly, can you pin the video to the top? Can you unpin the old one and pin the new video up? And if you can't do that, let me know and I'll do it for you. Um, yeah. Why is my description not coming up? What is going on? <gasps> my description didn't save. All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. I don't know why my description didn't work. That is no good. That's all right, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. Just give me a second. Edit to post. What are we making tonight? We are going to do rainbow roasted vegetables and a rainbow bunt cake. How's that sound? How does that sound? There we go. Save. Okay, now the description should be in there. Thank you, Darla. New nails. Yay. And then here, I'm going to put the description in the comments as well for anyone who wants to see that. Um, and then we're going to do some sharing. Share to page. Hi, Tim. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Francesca. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Nadia. Hi, Angelica. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Cheryl. Okay. Share to that one. What? A bunt cake. I know. I love bunt cakes. They take forever to bake, though, so hopefully we won't have too much. I'm a little concerned because we have two oven situations, so I'm a little, I won't lie, I'm a little concerned that we're going to be, like, twiddling our thumbs in the middle, so hopefully not. Hopefully not. Computer's being oh well, not my computer, my internet's being slow tonight. Hi Hannah! Shared. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, guys. Sharing is really important in the world of Facebook land. So if you don't mind sharing, I super duper majorly like mega appreciate it. If you don't want to, no, no big. You can still you can still hang with us. But if you want to. 
We appreciate it. We do. Cheers. Hi, Hi, Charitza. I love watching you. Thank you. Okay. So, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's do the text message alert. You guys, are you all signed up for text message alerts? Everybody should be signed up for text message alerts. Text messages. Boop, boop, boop. Text message alerts are a big deal because every time Facebook changes the algorithm, it takes out, oh, I just closed that. It takes out people who signed up to get Facebook notifications. It stops sending them. I don't know why they do that. So like last week, Facebook changed the algorithm again and about 60% uh, of the people that signed up for Facebook notifications no longer get them. I don't know why. Facebook, why do you do that to us? Um, but the way to get around that is to sign up for the free text message alert. And that way, if Facebook fails to notify you, you'll get a one-time text on your phone every time we start to cook. Cooking rainbow recipes live now with April at at Mama loves oops Mama loves Mom does not slices Mama loves food on Facebook yay big happy face and sent you guys like my new phone case how cute is that I know it's amazing love it okay let's pull our comments back up so we can chat and then we'll get going and we're gonna try and move a little bit quickly at the beginning at least to get the bunt cake in the oven because that takes a long ass time all right here we are oh I forgot to share into my group hold on I gotta do that hi mom thank you hi Wilson Wilson hi hi Sarah I just put a lemon bunt cake in, bunt cake in the oven yum Yum, yum, yum. That sounds fabulous. Okay. Uh, okay, we're good. We're good. Let's wash our hands. And, and then we'll get going. So those of you who know me know that we are not using, we're not making a cake from scratch because that's just not something I do. If you do that, that is fabulous. I will cheer you on all day long, um, but I don't do that. So we're going to use a cake mix. We're going to jazz it up a little bit by using an extra egg and milk and butter, but otherwise it's just a cake mix. And then... Um, <coughs> We are going to, so we're going to do just a white, you know, I keep seeing all these rainbow cakes on the internet and I'm like, those are beautiful. And then I'm like, those look like a pan in the bottom. Um, so we are going to, hi, Michelle. Uh, mom's on day two of the whole 30. Go you mom. Nice work. Um, I'm on day, what, what day of the month is it? I don't know. Seven or so of the whole, eh, mostly whole 30. I'm drinking wine. Let's be real. Um, so I will not be eating the cake either, but we will be making it look beautiful and we will deliver it to a neighbor. Um, so anyway, we're going to do the icing rainbow. We're going to do a white cake with rainbow icing is what we're going to do. I live in Texas visiting Florida and had to wait an extra hour to see you. Ah, so used to central time. I am wearing a perfect tee. Oh, this is a medium perfect tee and my TC leggings. Um, and yes, I have them rolled up because that's the length I like them. Hi, Heather. Um, so yeah, we're going to, oh, we need wine. We need wine. We cannot drink without wine. I even bought ghee. Look at you, mom. Look at you. Good job. Okay. I'll tell you, the whole 30 is rough the first week to 10 days. And then after that, you're like, why am I not doing this all the time? Because you feel really good. I'm not going to lie. Hi, Heather wants LuLaRoe. LuLaRoe is going to be after the cooking show, Heather. So after the cooking show, we will do a short TC. <laughs> Whole 30 is brutal. It is when you start. Okay, so we're going to do a white cake. And it calls for half a cup of oil, one cup water, three eggs. So what we're going to do is a half a cup of butter one cup milk and four eggs because that'll make it more bakery style and rich 
Um, so it is not Moscato. This is, uh, will that perfect tea medium size fit me? Yes, Heather, this would fit you. Um, I wear any, I wear perfects anywhere from medium to 3X, depending on like how big I want them. But I think medium might be my personal favorite. It feels like a ballet dress, doesn't it? Doesn't it kind of look like a ballerina would wear it? What are you doing for 30 days? Trying not to eat like shit. That is a full glass of wine. I don't know what you're talking about, Heather. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. So, cake mix. Heather wants a perfect. We're going to do perfect next week, Heather. Tune in, baby girl. Tune in. I don't want to do that. So, I've got the fan off right now because I know not everybody likes the ambient noise. But I'm warning you, I do have two ovens going, so there's a chance I might turn it on. <laughs> Heather wants to wrap up the cooking so we can buy leggings. I happen to like cooking, Heather. Although, I will admit, the leggings are fun too. So if you guys want, if you don't know what the heck we're talking about, um, we sell LuLaRoe after the cooking shows. Um, so if you want to join us over there, you are absolutely welcome to. You have to drink wine to make, um, I do, I do, because hashtag not a baker. Um, I will not make you drink wine. If you want to save all the wine for me, you're welcome to. Hey, Valencia. So we need, what did I say? Half a cup of oil. Half a cup of oil. I mean, so yeah, half a cup of oil, but we're going to use butter instead of oil. Hi Lynn! My gal pal Lynn from 365 Days of Baking is here! Cooking is so therapeutic, especially watching. Aw, thanks Laura, you're sweet. All right, let's melt our butter. Lynn, Lynn and Nessa are both like actual real hashtag total, hashtag total bakers. So they probably shouldn't watch this show too closely because y'all, I'm gonna butcher the hell out of baking right now. We're just gonna, we're gonna just, we're gonna make it happen. Any which way, any which way, but we'll get a cake out of it in the end, damn it, it will. So I'm gonna put this in the microwave and I apologize, my microwave does weird things to the feed, so we will try not to use the microwave too much, but we are gonna use it for a second right now. Hi, hi! Eating is just as therapeutic. Amen. I'm gonna grab our Pam baking spray real quick. You could totally be industrious. You could absolutely be industrious and make your own slurry of oil or butter and flour and put it, paint it into the um, fun cake pan. Um, but I'm you know, I'm not. We're using cake mix. Why would I make my own slurry? That wouldn't make any sense. So let's see how much we've got here. We need half a cup. Where are my measuring cups? Here are my measuring cups. And let's get our eggs out. That's a lot of eggs. That's a lot of eggs. All right. I didn't get a text. Amber, no. You need a text. Oh, I just splashed. That is a perfect half cup. Look at that. I just got butter on my shirt. Thank goodness it's black. Thank goodness. All right. Let's grab a... Look at that. There was a spatula right on top. What are the odds? What are the odds? Does that mean everything's going to go right for us tonight or we're just screwed the rest of the night? You tell me. Amanda feels like a traitor. Why do you feel like a traitor? What happened, Amanda? Is it because you bought from AK? Did you do that? Is that what happened? Hmm. 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 It's all right. It's all right. I just made the salad from Tuesday and loved it. Yay! High five, Megan. Nice work. Okay, so that's our... Um, we did butter instead of oil. We need one cup of milk because we're doing milk instead of water. Here, measuring cup. One cup, right? Yeah, one cup. Watching you from Pittsburgh. Yay! Hi! Hi, Christy. I love your shows. Thank you, Amy. Hi, Ashton. My microwave sounds familiar to our washer. My, <laughs> my washer makes those same funny noises, too. Summer wants her leggings. I want you to have your leggings. I do. 
true. I want you to have your leggings. I want everybody to have their leggings. And four eggs, four eggs. And the reason we make those substitutes is to make um, it get kind of seem like we're making a bakery from scratch cake. It's more believable that way. Why do you use milk? Is it, oh, I just said. Because, 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 because. Because it makes the cake taste better. One. I love watching your videos. Thank you. Summer didn't get a text. I swear I sent a text. Two. Three. Thank you, Olga and Hannah. And four. Yay. I only bought from AKA once, but I bought from you last night. I love you, Amanda. It's cool. We still love you. Rising tide lifts all ships. I want everybody to be successful, even my competition, as long as they're nice. As long as they're nice. And if they're, if if ever there was a nice set of people, it's Holly and Jamie. So, all right, we've got our mixer. Look at this. I even got my mixer out. I don't have to dig for it. Oh my goodness. I didn't get my leggings. I got my text. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Is that a Fitbit or a watch? It's a watch. Um, so, I'm not a big spender, like, at all. You guys know that. I'm all about cutting corners and um, being cheap as I'll get out. But, I've been eyeing the Apple Watch for, like, ever. And I went and bought one today. I was having one of those days, like, I work 24-7 and I don't really do anything for myself ever. Um, so I did something for myself today. I'm not gonna lie, I'm having a little guilt about it, but I love it. Isn't it pretty? So, yeah, that happened. What leggings that I'm, am I wearing? I'm wearing gaiters, because I'm from Florida. So you don't have to use an electric mixer, but I like to, because it, it aerates your cake. It puts little air bubbles in it. And, um, it... It just makes it fluffier. And if you want a more dense cake that is totally acceptable, just hand mix it. Um, but I like my cakes a little fluffier. So Dawn loves her Apple Watch, yay! Could you use 2%? Oh yeah, you can use 2%, whatever you want, whatever you've got on hand. Absolutely. And if you want it to be really rich, you can use heavy cream even. Nancy Harker, no way, no way, no way, that'll get you kicked off the show, girl. I'm kidding, I wouldn't kick you off the show. But I'm not going to read your, I'm not going to read your comment. <laughs> oh, thanks, guys, you're sweet. Hi, Renea, happy Thursday. Um, oh, no, I didn't check to see if I could flip the camera this time, I forgot. Oops. All right, we're just getting the stuff off the edges. One more little mixy mix. Have you ever tried unsweetened applesauce in front instead of oil? Yeah, so that, it works. It's fine if you're avoiding fat for some reason. Um, or oils for some reason, it does work. But be careful when you substitute applesauce for oil. It will make a much drier cake, um, and it will it'll cook a little bit faster. So that's just something to something to remember. I have five kids. Yeah, you can use different flavored sodas for the liquids too. Ooh, I'll have to try that one day. All right, so we've got our bun pan, and this is my. I try to make at least one recommendation per show. I love this bun pan. I love this bunt pan so hard that I paid for it when it first came out as the anniversary edition, like a disgusting amount of money. Not really a disgusting amount of money, but more than I would normally pay for a bunt pan. Uh, but it is now down to a very reasonable price, I think like $15 or something. And it is linked in the description, and Kelly can throw a link in the comments as well. Um, so I, this is a good one. It's nice and heavy and thick. It cooks evenly. It's beautiful. So if you're going to buy something based on my recommendation tonight, this is the one I think you should get. So we're going to always, where's my spray? Where is my spray? I did bring it out, right? There it is. Um, always spray over the sink because if you spray over your countertop, you're going to have a greasy countertop. If you spray over your floor, you're going to have a greasy floor and everybody gonna be slipping and sliding and we don't want that to happen. Spray over your sink, that's important. 
April, try the strawberry cake mix with Sprite. Ooh, that sounds good. There you go. Kelly just made a link. Okay, so we're going to spray, spray, spray. I like to do a super thick layer just because the bunt pan, pan has lots of nooks and crannies. And I don't like running the risk of not being able to pop it out easily. So, <laughs> I probably use more than is strictly necessary, but it's just how I roll, yo. Alright, where's the lid to that? So we've got the oven preheated to 350. I see we are making a cake. We are gonna do a rainbow bunt cake. The rainbow will be on the outside, not on the inside. And then we're gonna do rainbow roasted vegetables. And the rainbow roasted vegetables, so what I've got linked today is an actually, is not just one recipe, but it is a list of, I wanna say about 30 rainbow recipes. Kelly can throw that in the comments too. Um, 30 rainbow recipes from some of the best um, best food recipe writers out there. This one, the, um, the rainbow roasted veggies, is inspired by Sabrina from Dinner Than Dessert. And um, you guys might have watched her show. She, um, her show is she and Jen cook during the day. I think they were on earlier today, actually. Um, and Sabrina's the one that chats in the background, and Jen's the one in the foreground. And the, the fun thing about their show is, um, so Sabrina's a trained chef, but Jen is just a regular home cook mom. So um, Sabrina writes the recipes and creates the recipes and has the website, and then Jen is the one that cooks them so that you can see, even though they're written by a chef, a regular home cook can do them and she does them live and it's really fun to watch so um, yeah so the um but the list of recipes is like 20 or 30 different rainbow recipes it's um, like breakfast lunch dinner snacks appetizers all kinds of fun ideas um, hi Denise from Barbados so right now we're just tapping to get the bubbles out and I'm gonna throw it in the oven at 350 and this is a bunt so we're gonna do about 40 minutes You're gonna do that on the middle rack. Let's set our timer. Timer four zero zero zero. Start. Yay! Cake is in the oven. Cake is in the oven. Alicia, I made your fried pickles and shared the page. Yay! I'm so glad you enjoyed it. I'm so sorry about the celiac, but I'm glad you found a workaround. That's awesome. All right. So. Hi, Thailand. Awesome. I'm good, Tracy. How are you? All right. And I apologize, guys, if I don't catch every comment. I have to try to make eye contact here, try not to cut my finger off. You know, there's a lot of moving parts, but I do try to catch as many comments as I can. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the vegetables. Where can I get the mixing bowl? The mixing bowl is the um, Pioneer Woman line um, at, at Walmart. It was really inexpensive and it's gorgeous. And I have a little one too. There's, it's a set of three, um, but I, I, I have enough medium sized bowls, so I only bought the big and the little. I know, I love, I love the Pioneer Woman line. It's just so pretty. All right. Hi, Elisa from Peru. How are you? So we're gonna do vegetables now. Why did I do that? We are going to do vegetables now. So we're going to do a rainbow of vegetables. You can do whatever vegetables your family likes. It does not have to be the ones I chose, okay? So, um, so, so, so. We chose, so the rainbow is Roy G. Biv. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. We skipped blue and indigo and we did red, orange, green, blue. I'm sorry, red, orange, green. <laughs> A red, orange, green, violet. <laughs> so we've got um, tomatoes for the red 
and you could use tomatoes, you could use, um, I've got the oven preheated to 425 by the way. You could use tomatoes, you could use red peppers. Um, what else is red guys, tell me. Anyway, whatever's red that you like veggie wise, you can roast almost any vegetable. We've got orange, oh I already have one. We've got orange, oh and I've got white too, cause you know, there's gotta be a cloud at the end of the rainbow, right? Red, orange, we've got the um, carrots. Green, red, orange, yellow. Where did I put my yellow? Ah, yellow, we've got some summer squash. Uh, oh, indigo and violet are going to be some gorgeous red onion, which P.S. should be called, should be called purple onion. And then red, orange, yellow, oh, green's next, sorry. Brussels sprouts, you could use broccoli. And then if we've got room on the platter, we will, on the roasting pan, I swear there's fuzz in my eyelash and it's driving me mad. Wasn't, didn't this happen the other night? Oh, okay. Um, and then if we've got room on the end, we'll do some um, tomatoes for clouds, I mean, uh, mushrooms for clouds. So I've got my oven preheated to, or preheating to 425. You can roast anywhere from um, like 400 to 475, depending on how, um, Lord April, you've got the Disney color song in my head. It's from the 60s. Oh, that's funny. Um, you can, depending on how fat and fast and hot you, hot you want it, I tend to roast between 425 and 450 when I cook, but any of those temperatures will work fine. Just watch it. Just watch it. Any lower than 400, though, and you're just going to kind of, you're going to, it's going to be more baking, and it's going to take longer, and they're not going to give you the same kind of caramelization um, that you're looking for in roasted vegetables. So, hi, personal hi to Michaela Canal. Good welcome to you. Oh, you're not talking to me. I don't know what that is. Oh my gosh, I swear there's like fuzz right in my eyelash. Okay, let's rinse these. And you can cut the you can cut the tomatoes or not. I like to cut mine in half, so we're gonna do that. Hi Patricia, how are you, girl? Hi Andrea, first time watching. Welcome. If you guys are here for the first time, I'm April from Mama Loves Food, MamaLovesFood.com, M-A-M-A-L-O-V-E-S-F-O-O-D.com. Make sure to check out the website. We've got hundreds and hundreds of um, really yummy, fast, friendly, simple recipes. Um, for families who want to cook healthy food, yummy food, delicious food, but just, you know, don't have a lot of time or maybe not a lot of experience. Um, I am not a trained chef. I am home taught. Um, so anything I can do, you can do. Absolutely. What else? Hi, Heather. Heather's here from Passion for Savings. Can everyone say hi to Heather? Heather does live shows also. She is a whiz with the um, pressure cooker, with the electric pressure cooker, the Instant Pot, which we, I owe you an Instant Pot recipe. I keep promising we'll do another one. Hi, Erica, how are you? So like I said, you do not have to have your tomatoes. I personally like to have them. Um, you do run the risk of having more moisture on the sheet, but, 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 let hubby make your fried pickles. Yay, Lita, yummy. All right. So those of you just tuning in, we're making rainbow recipes to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. I'm doing well, Heather, how are you? Uh, we're doing rainbow recipes to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. If you look at the description, um, you'll see we've got a link to an entire roundup of um, 20 to 30 or so um, rainbow recipes that I gathered from some of the very best recipe developers on the internet. You will definitely want to check that out. There's some beautiful recipes in there. Um, hi, hi, Oz, baby. <laughs> hi, Paloma. Hi, oh, you're saying hi to Heather. You're not saying hi to me. That's all right. I love you guys anyway. So, um, yeah, so right now we're doing rainbow roasted veggies, which are inspired by um, Sabrina from Dinner Than Dessert, and you'll be able to see her recipe um, in, the, in the link. It's in there. Hi, Allison. Allison from Domestic Superhero is here. We've just got a famous crowd tonight, you guys. That's kind of amazing. Who gathered those? Gathered what? What did we gather? The tomatoes? They were from a, 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 a red orange. They were from a bag. 
grapes too. What about grapes? I love your nail polish. So somebody needs to tell, um, somebody needs to tell Laura the trick about my nails. Actually, Allison can tell Laura about my nails because Allison was the one that taught me about the nails and I'm yes. obsessed now. Thanks, Allison. I'm gonna go ahead and have these um, lengthwise just so they'll roast a little bit faster since we don't have a ton of time tonight. The thin ones I'll leave as they are. Um, but yeah, <laughs> Allison doesn't want me telling her secret. <laughs> they're stick on nails, yo, and they're amazing. Kelly, do we have a link to the stick on nails? I love them. I had inside, they, my, my, um, the French manicure ones were totally fine, but I couldn't sleep, um, late on Tuesday night. So like three o'clock in the morning, I, um, pried them off and put some new ones on. <laughs> Allison says, it's a secret. I'm just kidding. Allison's nails are totally not fake. Not at all. Allison's nails are real. <laughs> oh, Allison, let them see behind the curtain. We're not perfect. Walmart, stick on nails. I could not find them at my Walmart. I looked today. I found them at my CVS. Um, but I looked today and our Walmart does not carry them. Our Walmart carries the Kiss brand. And I don't know if those are any good, so I didn't buy any. Paloma, I did say hi to you. I see you, Paloma. Hi, we're glad you're here. Woohoo! There you go. Allison put a link up to the nails. Yeah, they're amazing. Heather, they are amazing. I'm going to show you. Look, Allison has got me. I'm a total convert. They do not come off. They're like perfect. I get comp I'm get I've been getting compliments on them all week. They're ridiculous. 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 Ashley says, I don't like the Kiss brand at all. They're the Impress brand. I-M-P-R-E-S-S. Impress. They are amazing. And you don't even need glue. They're peel and stick. It's the most ridiculously awesome thing ever. Awesome. 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 Thank you, Allison, for that secret. I was crying to Allison on the phone that the night before the gala, or maybe two nights before the gala, that my, um, my schedule got all screwed up and I wasn't going to be able to get to the nail salon and I really wanted to get my nails done because they were a mess. And she's like, I'll tell you a secret. <laughs> now I just told the whole world her secret, but that's all right. She'll forgive me. They are stick-on. Is that amazing? They're stick-on. Yeah, I know. And after an hour of having them on, you can clip them even shorter and file them if you want. They're amazing. Do they leave residue on your nails? Nope. Not at all. Not at all. My nails looked perfect when I took them off. Like, not even a little bit. So they'd be good, too, if you guys, like, if you're a nail biter and you're trying to grow your nails out, um, because they'll protect your nails underneath. You don't glue them. Yep, they're peel and stick. Peel and stick. Okay, so that's good. I think that's good enough on the carrots for now. I'll leave these for my kids to eat. How do you take them off? So, after about four days, you can kind of wiggle them off. But it takes a little bit of effort. Um, or... You can just put a drop of acetone on each one, um, like kind of on the edges, and then wait a couple minutes and they'll come off. Okay, red, orange, yellow. I know, it's ridiculous. They're amazing. They are amazing. Hi, Megan. Megan's here. Allison leaves her, hers on for seven days. I don't have that kind of patience for nails. Like, by day four, I was itching to put a new pair on. It was killing me. Not, like, literally itching. They didn't itch. Like, I just really wanted to try a different pair <laughs> and they come with 30 between 24 depending on the which set you get they come with 24 to 30 and they come with accent nails I didn't use the accent nails um but they do they come with really cute accent nails and they come in a bunch of colors and they come in like the um colors and styles and um they come in a few different shapes like I like the square ones but they come in the round shape and the square shape and they come in short they even have toenails I saw on Amazon but I don't know how I feel about that look up the hashtag on Instagram <gasps> you did not tell me there was a hashtag on Instagram Allison Allison Zia Zia how do you say your name 
Now I'm blanking. All right. Heather says, I get a gel set at Walmart. Nice. All right. So we've got red. Can you guys see? Oh, sorry. Red, orange, yellow. Now we need green for our Brussels are going to be green. I feel like we might not have room for the white, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's scoot these a touch. Zaya, I know that. I know that. I don't know why I know that. I know that because I get annoyed that my iPhone corrects me every time I say Zaya and it's like calling Allison Zia and I'm like, no, Siri, you're wrong, damn it. Siri and I fight often. Yes, just in case you're curious. Amy likes jamberry. I just feel like jamberry is a lot of work. Like this is no work. You literally like peel, stick, hold it. Peel, stick, hold it. Peel, stick, like there's no, it's just so easy. It's totally my jam. Not anymore, it's a secret, not anymore. Psh, psh. I don't keep secrets like that for my people. You should have known better than to tell me if you wanted that kept a secret. I can keep lots of secrets, but not that kind of secret. All right, so there's our um, yellow, red, orange, yellow. So the red is the tomato, orange is carrot, yellow is summer squash, red, Roy G, boo. So we need green for Brussels sprouts. If you don't like Brussels, you could use, um, you could use broccoli, green pepper, what else, cabbage. Um, why doesn't this want to open? Whatever. There we go. Tell all the secrets. <laughs> Allison's using mean language. Boo, Allison, boo. and 29 others just shared your video let them know you appreciate it you guys I super hugely majorly appreciate it I really really do Facebook um, makes it that's how Facebook decides um, who they're gonna show stuff to is based on all the comments and the um, interaction they get they see during the shows so if you share it's like base it's a big vote of confidence um, for for um yeah for the show and it'll make Facebook show it to more people which is good which means we can get sponsors which means I don't have to do this for free just saying I'm just saying I love you guys and I'll do it for free if I have to but PS hashtag we love sponsors I'm just putting it out there hi Valencia love cabbage yes cabbage is delicious okay guys let's take a vote let's take a vote uh give me Give me hearts if you love cat uh, if you love Brussels sprouts. We're doing Brussels sprouts now. Hearts if you love Brussels sprouts. Thumbs if you're like, yeah, it's alright. And give me some mean ass faces if you are not into the Brussels sprouts. Just go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. Allison, do not lead people away from my um, show, please. We're gonna have words later, woman. <laughs> okay. Look at all those loves. We got a lot of Brussels sprouts lovers. Yay. What was the brand of nails? Impress. I-M-P-R-E-S-S. -S. You can get them on Amazon. Kelly can put the link up for that or, or whoever. Um, and I think Allison put a link up. Uh, Impress. Yeah, and you can get them locally at CVS or some people are saying Walmart. I haven't seen them at Walmart. Um, yeah, Impress. And Allison recommended the white box, and that was my, the white box was the ones I was wearing yesterday, or not yesterday, last, last week. Um, you can't click it yet. You've got to wait until after the show is over to click. Um, so what was I going to say? Oh, um, but I tried the red box. This is the red box, just to see if there's any difference. And I don't, I can't tell any difference. They're working just as fine. Oh, baby, you're so fun, you're so fun, you blow my mind. Hey, fingernails. Hey, fingernails. What do you think? Is that good? Maybe a little more. We don't need a ton of onion. Walmart has a ton more than my CVS. See, I had, there were literally zero at my Walmart. None. None. 
Fun. We've got like 14 Walmarts within driving distance though, so maybe I should check a different Walmart. My hearts aren't working. No. Can we get a link to the handheld mixer? Yes, Kelly. Do we have a link to the um to the Cuisinart um, stick blender? I'm pretty sure we do. Okay, that's good on that. So we've got red is tomatoes, uh, orange is carrots, yellow is um, summer squash, green is Brussels sprouts, and now we're gonna do. It kills me to even say it. Red onion for purple, which P.S. should be called purple onion. Can we just talk about that? Uh, I would not roast cucumber, probably. I think you just have a wet mess. Hi, Catherine. How are you? We are doing, um, are you on Tuesdays? Yes, we're on Tuesday and Thursday, roughly 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Anywhere between 8.30 and 8.45 is when we come on. So, okay, so we're gonna do the onion. I love onion. Do you guys love onion? Let's vote again, let's vote again. Oh, what's the, oh, Allison. Oh. Purple cauliflower would work too, yes. You can buy them online through the Impress website too. Oh, good to know. Maybe Impress will, Allison, we should get Impress to sponsor us. Somebody work on that. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're going to vote again. We're going to vote again. And you're going to tell me, do you like, do you like onions? Do you like roasted onions or no? So it's heart if you love them, thumbs if you're like, yeah, and mean faces if you're like, oh, onions are the worst. Yes, yo, they're the worst. Sabrina, don't watch my knife skills too closely, please. <laughs> Rosanna loves this show. I love Rosanna. All right. For my vegetable peeling skills. Sorry, that outer one just looked a little funky. Hi, Kathy. How are you? How are you? All right, so we're going to do kind of thick-ish, thick-ish on these. Now let's take out that middle. Mm, maybe not. Where where do you go live again? On Tuesdays, we're at Spaceships and Laser Beams. And on Thursdays, we're at Mama Loves Food. Um, but you can always find us at either. So um, we share between. So if you can't remember, just go to one or the other. And you'll always see me there. All right. There's our purple. Hi, Janelle. Janelle, thanks for entertaining. Yay. Goal. Hashtag goal achieved. Goal achieved. All right. So I'm kind of liking that the purple onion, I'm going to call it purple onion. That's just happening right now. Um, the purple onion is giving us purple and white since we didn't really have time to put the, we didn't have space, I should say, to put the white in. Only like them if minced or if they're on the crispy shoestring onions from Ruby. Ruby Tuesdays. Okay, can we talk about the fact that my husband, Ruby Tuesday is legit my husband's favorite restaurant ever. Well, that and Sunny's Barbecue. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and grab our misto and some garlic salt. Your shirt looks so comfy. Oh, hi. This is LuLaRoe. What? This is a perfect tea from LuLaRoe, if you love it, and my leggings. You should join our LuLaRoe group. And yes, I am wearing fuzzy slippers. Um, Kelly will put a link to the LuLaRoe group. If you hit share on this video, it'll go to your wall. And in, in the description at the top, you'll be able to see it really easily. Um, and the links will work. Um, there is a link to our LuLaRoe group. If you want to just search it, it's Mama Loves, M-A-M-A, -M -A, Mama Loves LuLaRoe. Um, and we are going to, we'll be selling leggings after this show. Just a short, a short legging show, but we will do leggings after the show. So we're going to go ahead and misto this. Mistos are awesome too. I still think if you're going to buy anything off this one show, you're going to buy the bunt pan. But if you're not into bunt cakes, then the misto would be my next suggestion. Um, it is, you put your oil in, you pump some air, and it aerates. So we're going to olive oil these babies. Patricia says mushrooms. 
There you go. There you go. Shared. Paige shared. We love you, Paige. Thank you. Thank you, Sabrina, for letting us use your, re your well, ish, use your recipe. I didn't even really look that up. Sorry. But it was inspired by Sabrina from Dinner, Dinner, Dinner Then Dessert. And you can find the link to her version. Uh, white was going to be mushrooms. It was, but we don't have any room left. So, you know, sorry, mushrooms. I'll just have to go ahead and saute those tomorrow and eat them because they're delicious. Can we talk about how much I love butter and soy sauce? sauteed mushrooms. They're just like the best thing ever. Love. Allison made the bomb.com chicken. Woohoo. No fungus. I know we ran out of room. That's okay. We'll do it another time. Oh, that likes the show. Okay. I ruined the suspense for you for what? What, what? what did I ruin the suspense for you for? What did I do? What did I do? All right. I'm going to use garlic salt. You could use, that was olive oil, yep. Um, you could use salt and pepper. You can use, if you want it a little spicy, you could put some um, cayenne or chipotle. I'm just going to use, we're going Lowry's garlic salt. Hashtag not sponsored, but P.S. Lowry's, if you're watching, um, we're all about you. Sponsor us. All right. Yum! Yeah. Now we're gonna pop these in a 425 degree oven. Again, you can roast anywhere between 425 and 475. It's up to you. We're doing 425 tonight. I'm gonna bring this over. How gorgeous is this tray of vegetables right now? Like, I'm sorry. Whose kid is gonna say no to that? Probably a lot of the kids are gonna say no to that. But um, yeah, isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so we're gonna throw this in the oven. At 425. Yes. Okay, we've got about 15 minutes left on the cake. It is rising nicely. We're going to clean up the kitchen a touch. If you want to do a little ask me anything, go for it. Ask me anything. Mushroom sauteed in A1 sauce and butter. Ooh, yum. That sounds good. All right. I don't need that. We'll put this in the fridge and this in the fridge. Is Allison going? Bye, Allison. Love you. Will it make your cake taste like onion? I have two ovens. We've got them in separate onions. Otherwise, yes, it would make your cake. I would not roast onions in a pan that a cake is baking in. <laughs> Can you put a link up for your cutting board? Kelly, do we have a link for the cutting board? I know we do somewhere. It's the Mario Vitale cutting board. Do you have to flip the veggies halfway through? I'm not a veggie flipper. I'm just not. They'll do fine. All right, so let's put this away. Clear some space in the kitchen. All right, all right. And then we'll start working on our rainbow icing, which I'm just super excited about. April, you should try a bloomin' onion sometime, like making one or eating one, because I can eat the hell out of a bloomin' onion, I'll tell you that much. Are those green onions regrowing in your window? Yes. They've been regrowing for like four months though, so I kind of, I think I need to start over. <laughs> like they're just, they're not doing so well right now. They've seen better days. All right. How long do the veggies cook? Um, so I did mine kind of thick. I'm guessing 20 to 30 minutes-ish, but we'll check on them. When you see them caramelizing and softening and just looking yummy, them. And if you want an actual real recipe for them, you're going to click, you're going to share this to your wall, and then you're going to see at the top of the, sh the shared video is all the links. You're going to click through to the rainbow recipes link, scroll down, and you'll see the um, rainbow roasted veggies, and Sabrina has given you a, like, a true instructional uh, recipe list. Whereas I am just kind of winging it, because that's how we roll. All right. Cheers, by the way. We've barely touched our wine tonight. I want to be like you when I grow up. You're too funny. You can be just like me. Jennifer is the one, you guys, Jennifer is the one that does the cooking on dinners, then dessert. Dinner, then dessert. I always screw that up. Dinner, then dessert. Jennifer says she has a 16-year-old son, but we think she's lying. There's no way that woman has a 16-year-old. Lies. Lies. All right. 
Sorry, I'm just cleaning up a little bit. So we don't have 14,000 things out at once. Ooh, that was a little bit dramatic. Alright, we've got all our icing. Look at that, look at that. Uh, do you broil them at the end? Um, if they're not caramelizing to your liking, then yes, you can. Um, you do not have to. What's your dish that you have made yet? Um, tonight, nothing's finished. So we've got um, a white butt cake in the um, in one oven, and then we've got a tray of rainbow roasted veggies in the other oven. I swear I do. I don't believe it, Jennifer. I don't. I don't. Um... We've got a tray of rainbow roasted veggies in the other oven. Right now we're just going to clean up some of the veggies and then we're going to do rainbow icing for the bundt cake for when it comes out. How long do you let your cake cool before you frost it? Oh, so, I mean, officially, I think you're supposed to let it cool like 90 minutes. <laughs> we're going to let it cool like maybe 10. It's going to be a big runny mess and we're not going to care. We'll care a little bit, but... Um, I don't think anybody wants to sit here and just watch cake cool, so. Yes. Valencia wants some chicken with those vegetables. Um, we should have, yeah, we should have done like a um, instant hot chicken, huh? Maybe next time. <sighs> do you ever guys, do you guys ever get those tension headaches that go, they creep like right here? I have one right now. It's freaking me out. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant what's your favorite food? Oh, my favorite food. That's a good question. I don't know. I just really like food. So that's kind of a hard one for me. I don't think I have a favorite. I don't know. I don't know. That's, I don't know. Now you're stressing me out. I don't know. <laughs> I just really like food, period. I get cluster headaches, the left eye ones. Oh, I get the ones that shoot behind your eyes, like pins. Ugh. Headaches are the worst, man. Throw your cake in the freezer for 10 and they'll be ready. Yeah, we'll, we'll try. Uh, we'll see if there's room in the freezer. Don't be sorry, Olga. Don't be sorry. Never be sorry for interacting. We're having fun. Have you ever gone to a chiropractor? I have not. I have not. I barely get time to go to the dentist, so. Okay, we're gonna put these in the fridge. Fridge, fridge, fridge for you. Fridge, fridge, fridge for you. Yeah, I don't have much room in this freezer. We might be able to clear some space. We might be able to make it happen. I love the hell out of food. Mm, amen, girl. Amen. Mm. Cheers. What would your last meal be? Um, That's horrible and depressing. I don't wanna think about it. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want a last meal. I want to live forever. Okay. We're going to... We're almost done. We're almost done cleaning up. And we're going to get to the icing. I don't want to rush the icing too much, though, because... Because, 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 because... Because then we'll be just sitting here on here twirling our fingers. Laura says, pasta. My husband is a chiropractor, and I rarely get adjustments. <laughs> Won't your onion make your other veggies in that container smell and taste like onion? Yeah, but I'll probably cook them together, so it's no big deal. Vanilla butter popcorn. Oh, yeah, that vanilla butter popcorn is damn good. I should be making dinner, but I can't stop watching. Make dinner alongside us. Prop up your iPad or your camera or your phone or whatever and cook with us. Have you ever done homemade pizza or pasta sauce? Yes, there's a. Uh, we've got a really good recipe on the website for it. If you look up Mama Loves Food marinara sauce, and it's a slow cooker recipe. Woo -woo. Oh yeah. What am I drinking? I am very slowly sipping a, um, what is it? A Sauvignon Blanc. I'm just hyper. Okay. So we've got our rainbow colors for the icing. I'm a big fan of the gel icing. You're gonna get more vibrant. I love seafood gel, yum. I love having you here, Catherine, thank you. Um, you get more, much more vibrant colors with the gel food coloring, but if you can't find it, no big deal. Regular food coloring will work just fine. Um, Gel food coloring, though, is a little bit tricky to find. I can't, they don't sell it in my normal market, but like Walmart has it, they don't have it near the grocery stuff, they have it near the wedding stuff, which I find really strange. 
Um, so if you're looking for it, and I'll show you what this is. It's called Icing Color. Icing Color, I know we're backward again, sorry. Um, so this is gonna give you a much more vibrant, and it costs, uh, it costs the same as the other stuff, so don't be scared of it. Fried Catfish, yum! Hi, Olga, you're awesome too, girl. Okay, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and there's husband, Violet. Hi, husband. What's the matter? What? One's here. I don't know where the other one is. They're, they're, they're paying attention to the food. What is my wife? Hi, Anna from Buffalo, New York. Come on over here. Say hi. Here's the bottom. Or at least the bottom half of his chin. <laughs> um, we are making rainbow roasted veggies and a butt cake with rainbow icing. What? Fancy. 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 Valencia says, hi, Mr. Wes. Heather says, hi, Wes. It's too bad they all have may contain labels. Nuts. Oh, yeah, Connie, I'm sorry about that. Do you have powder or something on the back of your shirt? Oh, do I? Yeah. Uh-oh. What did I lean up against? Oops. 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 He is a cutie. Hi, Carol. I love having you here. Hi, Jill from Georgia. Okay. Can we just talk about, like, when I go off my diet or I'm having, like, a really bad period day, I just open, I know I just said that on a cooking show, that's horrible. Um, I just think can of icing is, like, my go-to. That and buttered noodles. Oh, or buttered rice with soy sauce. Those are my comfort foods. What are your, like, weird go-to comfort foods? Tell me those. Tell me those, guys. I want to hear them. So I'm going to split a half a can per color is what I'm going to do. Um, thank you, Olga. We like, we like him. We'll keep him. He's a good guy. So I'm doing half a can per color. You can make your own icing if you want. I won't stop you. If icing from a can is not your jig, go for it, yo. Spaghetti and meatballs for Laura. Sheila likes mac and cheese. <laughs> Valencia, I totally agree. Summer says egg noodles with butter. Cheesecake and is my go-to comfort food for Lita. Meatloaf for Laura. Oh, buttered noodles. Buttered noodles all day long. Yes. All right. Yes, yes. Buttered noodles with Parmesan cheese. Fries and mayo. Popsicles. And may or may not be eating one currently. Mom says they make cute children too. Oh. <laughs> That's my mom. That's my mom bragging on her grandkids. All right, let's see that. And one more. So you're going to use three cans of icing. I know, it's a lot. Get ready for the sugar overload. It's just hashtag how it is. White rice with butter and cinnamon. Butter and cinnamon and sugar on white rice. That is news to me. I have never heard of that combination before. Fish and fries, yum. Hi, Diana. We are making, we have roasted rainbow veggies in the in the oven. And we've got a white butt cake in the um, other oven. And we are now are preparing rainbow icing <laughs> for the top of it. Rainbow, rainbow for St. Patrick's Day right now. That's what's happening. Ramen stir fry with a scrambled egg, yum. Okay. So now what we're going to do is, I know it's not Whole30, but it's so good. It's like heaven. It's like heaven. You can use milk, water, or cream. I'm going to use milk. We want to thin these a little bit. Laura shared. Thank you. High five. Yes. Chinese food is total down day food. That's like, oh, if you've had a bad day, calling up Chinese takeout is the best. Munchos with Jack Daniels. That is super random. I don't, I, go you girl. <laughs> Hi, 
Am I saying it? Aglis is from, Rojas is from Mexico. Hola. Desde Florida. Am I saying that right? Florida? Florida? Okay. So we're going to grab some milk and we're going to thin this. Where's my milk? There it is. Oh, I need to grab more milk. We're going to thin these. Pregnant Craven Doritos with strawberry icing. That is super random. All right. So we're just going to pour some milk in each of these. We want it to be able to pour pour a little bit. I'm gonna go grab some more milk. Spanish accent, by the way. Yeah, you know, whatever. I'm gonna go grab my milk. Hold on. smells like um like thanksgiving weirdly with all the two different flavors like the sweet and the savory roasting we made cupcakes in a toaster oven with one of my aides in the nursing home oh that's fun french fries with melted mozzarella cheese and brown gravy that's kind of like um actually let's go ahead and, and give these a little whisk first um that's kind of like poor man's uh um what's it called poteen <laughs> isn't it so you just want to give these a little whisk each so they're going to be, you want them to be a little bit runny because we're going to pour it over the side of the cake. And you could use a, you could use a mixer if you wanted, that would work too. But we've got some time, we're not in any big rush. There we go, so see, now it's going to um, pour over the... We're just gonna keep doing it. We're gonna do it all these times. Look, ooh, sugar booger. Poteen. Poteen is delicious. Poteen is delicious. Gar garlic bread with peanut butter. You know what my sister eats that's super random? Um, tomatoes and peanut butter. Do you, guys, do you guys ever do tomatoes and peanut butter? Poteen isn't up north. I thought poteen was only up north. It's certainly not down in the south. Toast with cream cheese and melted shredded cheese. You guys are freaking me out. Freaking me out. There's a brewery downtown here that makes the most delicious protein I've ever had. You know who used to make, I don't know if they still have it, it and it's only open like during busy season, but Disney uh, Magic Kingdom has a poteen like little, it's super random, it's kind of in the middle, it's not in any like busy part of the area, uh, blah, 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 busy area of the park. Um, it's in between Adventureland and um, Frontierland, if you go around the back way, there's a poteen wagon and they make some damn good poteen. Let me check on this cake. Ooh, I think it's done. I think it's done. Let's grab our skewer and check it. Let's get a skewer. Come out, skewer. All right, let's check this. Let's check this bad boy. Hey there, beautiful cake. Hey there, gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It is donezo. Yay! How often does that happen that we get it done right the first time? Alright, so we're going to let it sit for a minute and cool just a touch before we try to flip it out. We'll let it cool, we'll flip it out, and then we'll stick it in the freezer, maybe, if we can fit it in there. Um, there is poteen at Disney Springs, too. Is there? Um, yeah, we went to Disney Springs, the redone, for the first time a couple weeks ago. It is so nice. Patricia says protein. Hi, Lori. We are doing, there we go, look at that. Perfect. Um, we are doing Miracle Whip and Peanut Butter, Tabitha. You need to stop talking right now. <laughs> Hi, Jen. Hi, Jake. My daughter eats peanut butter sandwiches dipped in chili. All right. All right. Take leftover mac and cheese, heat in a skillet with scrambled eggs, top it with hot sauce. Okay, I could totally do that. That sounds good. Peanut butter on a hamburger. I keep, I've keep. i heard that before. I've actually heard that a few times. Never heard of poteen. So poteen is french fries, cheese curds, 
which is kind of hard to describe if you've never had it. But it's cheesy, basically. It tastes like cheese. Um, and brown gravy, like Thanksgiving gravy. It is delicious. It's really, like, it's just, put is it poutine? 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 How, tell me how you say it. We don't have it locally here, so I've only had it, like, a couple times, but... Um, cream cheese is good with, oh, you know what I used to eat growing up that's so delicious is, um, Cool Ranch Doritos in, um, with cream cheese. So good. I said protein because somebody, somebody wrote protein. I was just reading a, I was just reading a, um, comment. Marshmallow on a cheeseburger. Well, that's an interesting one that I've never heard of. Yes, the other. I'm not sure what that means. Come on. Maybe I should have just used the poutine. All right, poutine. 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 Sounds gross, but okay. Hi, hubby. Doritos are good with cream cheese. Yes. Barbecue chips with cottage cheese. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Hi, Tammy. <sighs> I tried the Starbucks drink and loved it. What's the Starbucks drink? Tell us about it. Tabitha, I love Miracle Whip and peanut butter. Oh my gosh, no! Fried mac and cheeseburger, that sounds good. Dill pickle sandwich. Oh my gosh, you guys are killing me, I love it. I love this. When my daughter was young, she ate peanut butter and salami sandwiches. No! <laughs> fried Spam, I can get behind fried Spam. Like saying Putin is how we pronounce it, Putin. Cottage cheese with dill pickles. Lay chips and pork and beans. I am loving this, you guys. This is hilarious. Oh my gosh, my hand is getting sore. I probably could have just done this all. This, okay, so this is what I should have done. I should have done all three in the big mixer, put a bunch of water in, and put a bunch of milk in, and um, I would totally try a donut burger, Valencia, and, um, and then split it up between the bowls. That would have been way more... Um, Dill pickles and hot sauce. When I was pregnant, I could eat a jar of green olives in about four seconds. I also ate a ton of pickles. Lots and lots of pickles. It's a new one. Iced cinnamon almond milk macchiato. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds really good. Pickles and cheese. Pickles and cheesecake? What is happening? Or use a whisk attachment for the hand blender. Oh yeah, that would be smart too, huh? I don't know where I put my whisk attachment. When younger me would eat peanut butter and cheese sandwiches. No! <laughs> you guys, I feel like you guys are messing with me now. I'm gonna peek at our vegetables real quick. Oh, they're beautiful, they're beautiful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a timer on for like five more minutes to check on them again, just so we don't forget. We don't want to forget. Oh, Sarah, ooh, it's really good hot, too. That, that sounds really good. It does. Oh, and I made the fried pickles. Dill pickle wrapped in cream cheese and ham. I can get behind that. Don't they call that cowboy sushi? Where you put a pickle wrapped in the ham and then you slice it and it kind of looks sushi-ish. I've seen that before. I can still eat green olives like that. I still love green olives, but I it was like almost compulsive when I was pregnant. I could not get enough. I would wake up in the middle of the night and just need green olives. Also the Kalamata, the Mediterranean olives too. But yeah, fried chicken and mashed potatoes, yum, yum. Yeah, Popeyes is like a major weakness. If I had a bad day, I need to like drive the other way and avoid a Popeyes. <laughs> We're getting there, we're getting there. Dippy egg, oh yes, dippy egg. Yum, yum, yum. Rich crackers and peanut butter or spray cheese. Um, heck yeah, all day long, all day long. Love Popeyes, Popeyes is amazing. Popeyes is so good. Stacy made our chicken salad and can say bomb up. Yes, is that chicken salad so good? That's my mom's recipe actually. We I tweaked it a little bit, but um, I don't know if mom's still on. Mom, are you still on? Hot chicken salad. That was a staple growing up, man. Okay. 
Mashed potatoes and green onion. That sounds good. Fries and milkshake. Yes. Yes. That I can get behind. Fries and a milkshake or fries in your... I love getting the um, McDonald's... Uh, what's it called? McDonald's Sunday uh, with the hot sauce, the hot fudge sauce, and dipping french fries in it. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Banana pudding with chestnut cookies. Laura says Nutella, period. Yes. What do you eat your Nutella with? A spoon. Especially a frost, yes, a frosty from Wendy's. Yes, you are my people. All right, last one. Last one. Fritos and cream cheese. Yes, so that's really similar to my one of my childhood favorites was the um, Doritos and cream cheese. Love it, love it, love it. Laura says soft serve ice cream. Yep, we went to Dickie's Barbecue for dinner tonight. Yes, hashtag food bloggers eat out a lot. Um, yeah, and they have the soft serve machine there. Took a lot of willpower not to test it. Peanut butter and marshmallow sandwiches. Oh yeah, I could get behind that for sure. Who is saying it on Tuesday? Aaron Monroe was saying we um, marshmallows dipped in butter. Mm -hmm. Fresh garlic and peanut butter. Yeah, I don't think I could do that. That is a. Although you know, I say that, but. I love a peanut sauce, and peanut sauce is basically um, peanut butter and garlic and um, like a sweet chili sauce, so maybe I would like it. Maybe, I don't know. Pickles and soft chocolate chip cookies. Hmm. I might have to take your word on that one. <laughs> As a child, I used to eat Cheetos and bean dip. I could see that. I could see that. Pickles and cheese, cream cheese wrapped in ham. Yep, that's good. Yep, 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 yep. I'm with you on that one. All right. Oreos and peanut butter. Yep, we can do that. Dippy egg all day long. That's one of my daughter's favorite things in the world. She actually taught our nanny how to make a dippy egg, which was hilarious. She's five. She thinks she knows everything. I'll give her though. She knows how to make a dippy egg. I love my grilled cheese dipped in ketchup. So I normally I don't. When I was pregnant, I wanted ketchup on my grilled cheese and my egg sandwiches. I had it was like a like intense craving when I was pregnant. And when I'm not pregnant, like I'll I don't mind it, but I have no like need for it. Okay, so all of our icing is nice and dripping. A dippy egg, just a sunny side up egg. All of our icing is nice and runny, so you can see, look at that, it'll drip over the cake beautifully. And now we're going to, let's actually, we can probably flip this out now. Let's grab a um, cake platter. Groany moany. Should we do this one, you think? Will that fit? Yeah, that'll fit. Ooh, there's our timer. Let's check our veggies. Uh, candy bacon. Um, yeah, I could get behind that. Go show. Let's see. I'm gonna rotate these. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna flip them. I'm just. I'm not a flipper, but I'm gonna rotate them since the back of my oven's a little hotter. They are pretty. Yes, they are. There we go. Duly rotated, we're gonna put another five minutes on the timer on those. Timer five, two, zero. So that will get us up to 25 minutes that we're at right now, for those of you who are curious how long. Uh, flaky croissant, yes, yes. Um, okay, should we do a white or should we do a, I think my white has too much of a, I think my white has too much of a bump in it, so we're gonna do, we'll do this one, this'll work. Sandy says, bacon wrapped water chestnuts, yes! Bacon wrapped water chestnuts, are, we've, do, we've made those on the show, like last month, right? You use your grandmother's platter with a cherry bun. Yeah, this is my grandmother's platter too. This is one of my grandmother's platters. I have several of them, okay. Okay. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Everyone say a prayer. Baby cheese it. Let the cake come out. 
Maple syrup bacon cheesecake. Um, I could get behind that. I could definitely look at that. Look at that. Did you hear that? Thump. Thump. Oh, isn't she pretty? Isn't she pretty? Isn't she lovely? Da, 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 da. Oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. Do we love this pan or what? P.S. Hashtag. We love this pan. Let's bring this over so you guys can see this gorgeous. It smells so good. Look at that bun cake. Isn't she pretty? Look at all that. We're going to make her rainbow in a minute. I'm going to clear a little bit of space out of the freezer. Isn't she lovely? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oops. That was a pork roast that just fell in case anybody is keeping score. We're just going to shove that stuff over there. It'll be fine for a few minutes. I probably should thaw that pork roast anyway. Alright, we're making them in the freezer. We're making them in the freezer. There she goes. Into the freezer. Woo! Alright. She's in the freezer. Yummy. I want butter noodles. I'm stuck in a hotel due to no power. No. Hi, guys. How are you? Okay. Let's do this. Oh, let's put this milk away before it goes bad. Please say the name of cake. Bunt cake. White bunt cake. From a box. But we're going to make some rainbow. Is my freezer stock full? Hashtag truth time. I have four freezers, all of which have no room in them. <laughs> and are constantly being eaten. I have five kids. Four boys and one husband who goes to the gym every day. The amount of food that goes in and out of my house, and I run a food blog. The amount of food that goes in and out of my house is comical. It is literally comical. Poor Sarah, is it, is it starting to storm? No! You need some glitter on your wine glass. Everybody needs glitter. Okay, so we're going to use our food coloring. Again, these are the gel icing food colorings. Um, if you don't have these or can't get them, no big deal. They do not cost any more than regular food coloring, though. And they are way better. So I would strongly suggest red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Um, I would strung, 38 people just shared my video. Thank you guys, thank you for sharing the video. I really, really love it when you share the video. It means a lot to me, it means a lot to Facebook. Um, so yeah, yeah, thanks. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so the gel food coloring is gonna give you a more vibrant, richer flavor. Flavor, not a flavor, color. So if you can get them, that's what I suggest. If you buy them, you can buy them at um, Joann's, Michael's, anything like that. Also, Walmart, but not in the food section, which I always find strange, in the wedding section, where you see the wedding stuff. All right, so we're going to go red. What exactly are you making? Because the description only says rainbow recipes. We are making, we've got in the oven, we've got the rainbow roasted veggies so we did a full tray of sorry roasted veggies we did red was tomato which they're going to come out in just a second so you'll be able to see red is tomato orange is carrot yellow was summer squash boragey green was um brussels sprouts and purple was red onion all right, so let's go ahead and check these roasted veggies and see how they're doing. Ooh, I'm gonna call them done. They are gorgeous, yo, holy crap. Holy crap. Excuse my French. We're gonna turn this off. Look at this, look at this, look at this. How pretty, look at that. Are those gorgeous? Hi, hi. So pretty, so darn pretty. 
And I feel like if you made these with your kids, they'd be more likely to eat them, right? Am I right? Maybe not. They smell good. I'm excited about them. All right, I'm gonna scoop this over a smidge. And we're gonna work on these children are a blessing, amen. Also sometimes a curse, let's be real. Truly beyond blessed with four freezers. Yeah. What is that in the window on the screen? Left side I'm looking at looks like candy canes. Candy canes? I don't know. We definitely don't have any candy canes. You mean the green? That's green onion. So there's our red. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, red. Next comes orange, right? Orange. Hi, Isha. Hi, Ashley. Okay, now we're going to do orange. There's a the sticker. Oh, that's just a window cling we made with the kids. If you look back in the archives, we used to do live crafting shows. We haven't done one in a long time. Um, and that was actually one of the crafts we did. So you can see it looks like jelly. It's a gel. Um, that was one of the crafts we did. It was um, window clings. Yeah. So you use, um, you know, what is that stuff called? The um, Glad Press and Seal? Glad Press and Seal and and tissue paper and and permanent markers and you put the you put the tissue paper over a picture that you like and trace it with the marker and then you flip it over and you push down the um you push down the not all at once April tissue paper onto the window cling and how do you get text alerts you're gonna text um, follow space live show MLF to 40404 and Kelly will go there you go Kelly put it in the comments for you there's our orange isn't that pretty and we're gonna do yellow isn't she lonely? now I've got that totally stuck in my head why did you put the cake in the refrigerator I put it in the freezer because we want it to cool quick enough for us to um, put some icing on it and not have it all turn to just run off the cake and blob on the floor. Also, guys, just a heads up, in case you didn't know, um, almost any cake you buy from a bakery has been frozen at some point, which is not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing at all. It's how they get them nice and iced, pretty, and perfect how they are able to do them all in time because you couldn't bake them all on demand. Look at that yellow. Do you see how vibrant that is? These colors are great. Makes it easier to frost. Yes. I use a toothpick to get my gel colors out of the bottle. I feel like I don't really get enough with a toothpick. Not for this much icing anyway. Can you post a link to the Cuisinart handheld mixer? Yes. Kelly, will you post a link to the mixer please? Green is next. I know, I can't get that out of my head now. And I don't know the words, so it's going to drive me absolutely crazy. There we go. Some green. to your waffle maker. Kelly, can you get the link to the waffle maker, please? How are roasted mushrooms? Um, delicious. P.S. Totally yummy. You have such a pretty singing voice. Aw, oh, thank you. I don't, I don't know if that's true, but I appreciate the compliment. Whoa! I love these colors. Look at that. Look at that green. Isn't that pretty? Savory waffles. Oh yeah, the savory waffles. Those are yummy. Okay, what's next? We did green. Blue is next. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we're out of utensils. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We'll wing it. We'll use a fat lady in a bathing suit. Look, it's me! In a bathing suit! Hi Sarah, 
we did white cake mix. You could use whatever you like, though. Instead of using all those knives, just wipe it off. Yeah, I could do that. That would probably make more sense, wouldn't it? Oh well. I need to bake a cake for my birthday, which is March 19th. Happy birthday, Missy. My son's birthday is March 18th. I am so real. Hashtag definitely real. That is no joke. Time is it? 10 13. Ooh, it's gonna be a late legging show, guys. Maybe an hour. If you guys want to hang out after cooking, we're gonna do leggings. We're gonna do TC leggings. TC leggings fit size um, 12 to size 22. Look at that blue. Look at that blue. Isn't that pretty? Okay, last one is purple violetta. The nails are impressed. I M P R E S S, and you can get them on Amazon. Kelly can give us a link, or on um, locally, you can pick them up at CVS, and some WalMarts have them. What are my slippers? Oh, I I'm pretty sure they were clearance at Walmart like three years ago, but I love them. <laughs> They're kind of like slipper socks, but they've got little pom poms on them. I'm a, I kind of soft spot for pom-poms if you're if we're being honest. Oh, purple. Um, some of these are pioneer woman bowls. Some of them are um, Ross. Some of them are TJ Maxx. And I think one of them is Ikea. Mine is a 28th. Yay, Renee. Do you sleep in after a long show? I get up around nine um, on the nights that we do the long shows. I don't know. Do you consider that slipping in? All right, there's our colors. Look at that beautiful rainbow. This one's a little thinner than I meant to go, but that's all right. We'll work it. Okay, let's grab our cake out. Or should we? Let's try these veggies first. Let's let that cake rest a bit longer. I'm gonna put some veggies on my plate. We're gonna try the veggies. We don't want them to be cold. We want them to be not burning our mouth, but not cold either. Are you gonna drizzle icing across the top? Yes, we're gonna. Um, drizzly icing. So we've got some red on our plate, some red, some orange, some yellow. Sorry, I know you're seeing my back right now. Yellow, green, yay, and purple. Isn't that pretty? Look at that plate. Isn't that so pretty? Ready? Mmm, 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 mmm. What is it about roasting vegetables that makes them so yummy? Mmm, mmm. Most amazing. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. I'm hungry, by the way. Have you noticed? Ah, love it. So good. Purple potatoes would work. Yes, Jessica, absolutely. Hey, Beth, happy you're here, though. Mm. Can't stop, won't stop. Mm. We just put garlic, um, olive oil and garlic salt on them. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. 
strawberries and lemons together. I have a strawberry lemonade. Is it strawberry lemonade? I'm trying to remember if it's strawberry lemonade or strawberry limeade. I think I have a strawberry lemonade slushy that is amazing. Are you wearing a perfect tape? Huh, you better believe I am. Those would be amazing with balsamic vinaigrette glaze. I do not disagree with that at all. Okay, let's grab this cake out. Let's see if we've got it cooled off a little bit. I think we're good, guys. It's still a touch warm on the bottom, but it's pretty, um, yeah. Where'd you get the pump for the oil? You can get it on Amazon. Kelly can give you a link. Or you can also find it locally at um, Bed Bath & Beyond. All right, let's move our... Can you guys see the cake all right? Oops, I'm sorry, I'm trying to make. Isn't she lying? I think you have some flour on your bottom. Yeah, that's what people keep saying. Is it still there? You just guys, you just want to see me rub my butt. All right, let's see. I'm sorry, husband. I'm going to use another one. steak with chimichurri sauce. Yay! Cynthia, I'm so glad you guys liked it. Hi, Vince. Okay, ready? Let's start with red. <gasps> Orange. I only asked about the lemons and the strawberries because my birthday is in June. Happy birthday. Orange. Yellow. Oops, I lost some of that yellow. <gasps> Green. You can see that my red's a little runnier than I intended. Oops, hashtag oops. Blue. Violet. And the violet's going to be a little runny too, so we might have to double up on the violet, but that's okay. Isn't that pretty? How pretty is that, you guys? Let's start again. Let's start again. Yeah, we just used white cake. White cake. You could use. All right, this fork is annoying me. You can use whatever you want, though. Red. I didn't think about spacing it, so we might not end up with like complete rainbows. Might be a little funky. That's okay though. Orange. Let's get rid of the same fork. Green. My kids are gonna be thrilled tomorrow, you guys. Thrilled. Green. Oops, try not to strip on the cake. Don't mess up the other colors. Do as I say, not as I do. Two times around. Three times around, sorry. Okay. Oh, we're almost there. 
a rainbow. You skipped the yellow. Oh, I totally skipped the yellow. <laughs> Oops. Oops, they're out of order. That's what happened. Oops. Which is funny because yellow is probably my favorite color. Red. Oh, orange. Yellow. Green. I'm making a mess of my countertop right now, just FYI. Hopefully it doesn't stain. Probably it does. Blue. would be use a bigger cake platter but p.s. this cake is awesome so now I'm gonna go back and just see the places I missed it doesn't have to be perfect coverage but I don't want any big giant missing spots you know there we go I think that's basically good let me grab I'm gonna grab a bigger cake platter real quick So we don't continue to make a giant mess. There we go. Okay, sponge. colorful sprinkles on it or just leave it be? I think probably just leave it be, right? Is it killing you that that yellow is missing? I'm afraid if I go back and add it though, it'll be really obvious. So we'll just, we'll just angle it this way. Should we bring it over and see it? Isn't it pretty? The yellow is killing you. <laughs> I'm just afraid it'll look really intentionally added later. Ooh, that slipped a little. Isn't that fun? How fun is that, you guys? Yay! We made a rainbow cake. So I'm going to let it set overnight before we cut into it. Mom, reminds mom of a rainbow bright. Kelly can't look. Just look at this side. Look at this side. See? Look. Oh, everything's, everything's good in the world. All right. Should we try to add some yellow if this is really going to bother you? Let's try to add some yellow. If we script the cake, we can all blame Kelly, right? All right, ready? There you go, Kelly. There you go, Kelly. Kelly's got her yellow. Whew. Is all right with the world for you now? There's yellow. Red. Oh, I put it on the wrong side. <laughs> Is that going to work? Is that worse? Is that going to kill you even worse? All right, let's get this out of the way. I'm going to save these so we can ice cookies or something later. Did you see what I did? I totally put the yellow in the wrong spot. That's all right. 
So it's red, orange, yellow, green. Anyway. <laughs> Did you guys have a good time tonight? Did you enjoy the show? I hope so. Is somebody going to make a rainbow cake? For Let's put these back in the cake things real quick. Thanks, guys. It was fun. I enjoyed making it with you. We had our fun rainbow veggies. Okay, let's put these back in. Oops, we can at least oh, we can at least reuse some of these. We obviously don't have enough for all of them, but look at all the happies! Look at all the happies! We can combine some of the colors. Here we go, yellow. Kelly's getting all stabby. Sorry, Kel. Sorry. Let's see. We'll put together the. Where am I going? Oh. We'll put the yellow and orange together. See you at the TC show. Yeah, we'll be at the TC show. Give me like 20 minutes to clean up, so we'll probably be on about 11. Hopefully before that, but. We'll probably do 11 to 12. It's going to be a short show, but we'll get through as many as we can. We'll, we'll try to make our hashtag goals. All right. What do you think? Mm, we can't really add. We can do red and purple together. Those will work. It looks great. I might have to do this one. Yeah, it's fun. And there's no special skills. I know your hubby does the dishes, but do you rinse them? Yes, I rinse them. I prep them. <laughs> I do not just leave them like that. That's what takes me 20 minutes after we get off. I will rinse them and stack them and get them ready for him. Hi, Cindy. We made a rainbow cake and we made rainbow roasted veggies. Hi, Marissa. We are so, we are so glad you're here. and green together. It will overflow if I try to do the other one. The kids will have fun icing, using icing tomorrow. See you at TC. Thanks, guys. We're so glad you're here. And guys, if you enjoyed the show, if you had a good time, please first make sure to share it to your wall. Also, sign up for text message alerts so you know every time we're on. We're on on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Um, yeah. Check out the website. We've got hundreds. I've been um, developing recipes since 2008. So we've got hundreds of recipes. And uh, yeah. And if you make any of the food, please post pictures to the wall. Go to Mama Loves Food on Facebook and show us what you made. We love, love, love to see it. Super awesome, super fun. I love having you here. And if you guys wanna hang out after the show, even if you don't wanna buy, you don't have to buy, there is no obligation. But if you wanna hang out, we will be over at Mama Loves LuLaRoe in about 20-ish minutes. So I hope I'll see you there. Thank you guys so much. <laughs>